too. So, well, good luck, man. Thanks, bro. You too. Cheers. All right, we're going to kind of cruise. We don't know where anybody's at yet. We don't know where the... Uh, oh, we're going this way. Sorry. We don't know. The fan walk's supposed to start right now, but it seems like there's a bit of a holding pattern going on. I don't know if it's like a weather delay or something, or people are just like, you know what, it's rain, we're not going. But I'm going to jump in here because we got Cody Wyman here. First race on the baggers yesterday. Unfortunately, it was wet. He's, he's the factory Harley test rider, so you've had some... You know, testing and some momentum on it. But yesterday you were rolling pretty good. Unfortunate a crash in the wet, but treacherous conditions yesterday. How'd you feel and what are you looking forward to today? Yeah, I felt like at, at any second, you know, we can tip over with, with not a ton of warning with this place and the rain. Um, but yeah, trying to trying to get more comfortable. Had a nice rain set up, started to go kind of catch P3 right behind them and just huge high side in 3C over the bumps. Uh, which is exactly where I crashed last year, so I didn't learn anything apparently. But yeah, the baggers are so much fun. You know how you know how when you when you finally ride one and you feel how good it is on track, you're like, man, this is this is real deal. Like we're not messing around anymore. Like this thing's so good. So unfortunately, Corey West got injured, and they f sat him in field. Did you? How's it been? Have you gotten any parts from the factory? Have you just been riding Corey's specific bike? Like, wh how has that been? Because you come from riding, you know, the, the test bike on the factory bike. Have you tried to bring some of, like, the ergonomics and stuff over? I know that the, the engines and stuff is probably a little bit different, but what have you done to try to get really comfortable? It's hard coming into the last race of the year and trying to race in the baggers, especially just the pace is hot. But what have you tried to done to get, say, comfortable quick? Yeah, I mean, it's a treat for like a, at the end of the season to be able to, to do this you see a ton of riders running different classes doing wild card stuff so and then the factory coming in to help jake and i with some parts and stuff so trying to make the bike a little bit closer to what i've been riding but yeah having a blast on the road glide and and you know now you guys getting getting the title so vance and heinz congrats to you you or hayden whoever uh whoever pulls through man it should be good <laughs> we'll try not to throw it in the kitty litter today but good luck out there Thanks, buddy. All right, we're going to keep cruising through here. we got some fans going. Are you guys ready for the fan walk? Are you guys? Were you guys here yesterday? Our yeah. dad races. Oh, what class does your dad race? Daggers. No way. That's awesome. How's it been? Good. Are you rooting him on? Hmm? Are you going to root for him? Are you hanging over the wall like, yeah, let's go? I can't go on the wall yet. Oh, yeah, you're too young? Well, that's awesome. How's it been with the weather? Are you hoping for dry? Mm, he likes to race in the rain. Then we hope there's wet. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> We're going to keep cruising here, see if we can't find her. Are you going to let these guys come through? Or? Yeah, yeah. Wait for Nicole to give us the weather. Oh, okay. All right. So we're just in a little bit of a holding pattern here, but we got some guys. M4, X-Star, Suzuki, the big guys over here. We're going to cruise over. We got Brandon Pash, the big dogs, Escalante, the big dogs over here. First, let's just kind of walk down the line. Brandon, you've had a really good run on the Superbike. Pretty... I would say it's been a really good building year. Uh, here, it's been kind of treacherous conditions. We saw on Moto America that you, you tossed her. Sent her a bit, <laughs> a bit too hard. But you look like you've had pretty decent pace in the wet. How does it feel riding a superbike in the wet? Dude, it's good. Honestly, Like uh, that's probably the best bike I've ever rode in the wet. So I was pretty pumped with it. And uh, yeah, I just got caught out yesterday. I just hit that puddle over there, turned in a little too early, and hydroplane the thing sideways. And whoop. But uh, yeah, better. hopefully better for today. I'm, a bit sore and beat up, but it should be a good day. You, are you hoping if it was to dry up, would you rather dry race, or do you think you got a better shot in the wet? I'd rather be dry, you know, no excuses, you know. Like, I don't know, just dry out, let us all go for it, and see who's uh, the fastest around here. Be sick. All right, and the, I've been asking everybody, are you a patcher or a non-patcher in turn 10? I'm rolling right over that thing for sure, but I'm slow in turn 10, so maybe not the best move, I don't know. <laughs> what, the Supermoto is just not helping you out here, or what? <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> Uh, the superbike's such a different feel, man. I uh, I don't know. I'm a little scared when that thing starts going sideways. It's just whoop, gone. So trying to keep her wheels in line. All right. Awesome. Well, good luck, dude. We're going to keep rolling down here. We got Escalante, Papiel Grande here. 
<laughs> how was it yesterday and how's the weekend been going? You also have been having a phenomenal season. Um, you picked off a podium, which was awesome. I think everybody's really, really stoked in the entire paddock for you because you work so hard. How's this weekend been and how do you like riding in the rain? Yes, uh, I think the weekend started really good, especially on Friday. I just keep my, my momentum, you know. Uh, I feel great with the bike, but on the wet, always difficult. Uh, I never have a good experience on the wet. So I just working to find a little bit more speed. Difficult race, finish almost the last position yesterday, but, you know, it's part of the, of the game. So, yeah, I just want to, to try to be a little bit faster. I really want to, to finish more close to the front. And yeah, I hope it stops raining. I'm ready for race in dry conditions, so we'll see. But it's just more confidence on the rain and really happy to finish the season strong and make another step in every condition, so happy. Okay, that's awesome. What's the biggest, say, difference from riding the Superbike in the wet to the Supersport? Because you were, you were quick in the Supersport bike. Um, what's the biggest difference? Like, what, what's so hard about learning? Is it just stiff or, like, is the bike stiffer is what why is it harder you know on super sport i feel great i i do a couple podiums in the rain yeah. but on the super bike for some reason i don't feel really good uh also i have a two big crashes uh before ride the super bike so i, I also broken my color one in the rain so i think i lost just confidence i think the bike also the super bike is easier to ride in the rain more electronics yeah. But for sure it's just confidence. I need to trust a little bit more and try to, to make a big, uh, another big step, you know, and then just working up after that. But for sure it's just more confidence. Okay, awesome. Well, we hope you find that and good luck, dude. We're going to move down here. It's it's so crucial here to, to have confidence and you can totally see when you've got riders that have it and don't. It looks like they're on two different tracks. But we're going to move into somebody who did really well yesterday, Tyler Scott. Yesterday was kind of a burner. Um, tell us from your point of view, because you led most of the race. and Well, actually, Hayes led most of the race. You were kind of running second there. And then when Hayes had his little mishap, you were there to pick up the pieces. Maziata was pushing you quite a bit, but it seems like you found some time towards the end there. Tell us how the race was. And, I mean, that has to be a pretty good win. Uh, yeah, for sure. I, I didn't quite have the pace early in the race, and Hayes got by. So I was just trying to stay behind him and gain a, a little bit of time in some sections of the track but he, he had an incredible pace and it, it was just too big a, of a step for me to take in one lap and he kind of gapped and uh, unfortunately I saw him go down at the front and I, I was to lead and I, I tried pushing the pace as best as I could but I, I know my pace wasn't fast and towards the end of the race I, I felt the pressure of Maz really wanting to try something so I kept pushing and pushing and um, I feel like if uh, Kayla was there in the beginning it definitely would have been uh, a different story three-way of battle to the end but it, it all worked out good we paced ourselves good uh, didn't put the bike on the ground yet this weekend hopefully not today and um, I, I, I feel great with the team all year we made a bunch of progress and develop the development of the bike has been amazing awesome I, you had a little bit of a slip up in where was it in the, the last right it was what nine didn't you have a little uh, I had like 15 of those yeah, throughout right, the race, right, yeah, okay. but um, yeah, just trying to push under acceleration just a little too much and just spinning up the rear tire. Okay. Well, good luck today, dude. Yeah. All right, we're going to forget the last rider here, T. Cobbs. How you feeling, man? You've had some really, really good races this year. You've had a couple, uh, but you've always been there, thereabouts. Yeah. How's this weekend? What are you feeling? Do you like the rain? Do you hate it? Wh where are you at? Uh, I like the rain. I don't really like it here, you know, so uh, I don't know my home track in Loudoun I do a lot of rain riding, but just can't seem to find the confidence this weekend and uh, It stinks because we've had a pretty good season and I'd like to close off the year You know on a high note, but I mean we're struggling right now, you know, and uh, we, we're doing everything we can But nothing seems to be working. So what's the biggest like confidence issue or is it just you just don't have a confidence with the bike or is it just I mean you obviously have you can use their setup what's is it just you or is it like hey just not a good feeling 
I mean, it's it's tricky out there. Yeah, I don't know. I think uh, to be a good rain rider, I think you need you know everything to be in tune and everything working together as one. And uh, you know, maybe we're just missing a little bit out of everything right now. You know, I could definitely be a better rider. Maybe the bike could work a touch better, but uh, we just need everything to kind of connect the dots. And uh, if we can do that, and uh, you know, actually be a motorcycle racer today, maybe we'll be in the fight. Awesome. Well, we hope you're a motorcycle racer today. Good luck. <laughs> As you can see, everybody just keeps talking about confidence, and that's the biggest thing here is just confidence, and <laughs> people love the hog. <laughs> the confidence is everything. This track specifically, New Jersey Motorsports Park, we hear it all the time is it's really difficult under acceleration. There's not a ton of grip here. It's an older track with asphalt, and you can, even if you feel it, like you can kind of feel it with your feet. It just feels slick around here. Um, but I want to jump in here with Matthew. Hopefully that you guys can hear me. I just want to jump in here. Uh, hold on. So I got to jump in. We're going to scoot in here. We're going to let Matt get his uh, signature on there. See if we can uh, bend the ear here for a second. Dude, you've been flying in the wet. I got to talk about it because it's going around. The late move on Heron into turn 10. Yeah. What, was that a little bit like, hey, I need to get by you now? Or did you just see an opening and go for it? I mean, at the end of the day, a little Robin's racing. It's not a big deal, but it looked a little late. But, I mean, at the end of the day, you got to go for it if you're going to try to win this race. Yeah, I mean, it was it was definitely late, but, I mean, obviously I crashed a couple of laps prior to that, and you know, I was catching up to Josh at a pretty quick rate. So, I mean, we got into the last lap, I was in sixth, he was fifth, and, you know, I kind of just wanted to get a top five for the team. We've been pretty quick all throughout dry, dry, and the wet practices, and... I kind of thought he was going to pull it a little bit further, you know, back um, out of corner nine. Um, and he kind of just picked it up, you know, straight. And once I, I, I I'm, uh, committed to it, I tried to back out of it. But at that point, you know, I was just going to lock, uh, lock the front up. So I just kind of like started putting myself over the top of the bike just to kind of make sure that we didn't clip handlebars or anything thing out. But definitely wasn't my... Uh, like proudest moment, should we should we say? But you know, I'm kind of kind of glad that he kept it upright, and we managed to to both finish. Um, I was penalized for it. He took fifth, and I was pushed back to sixth. So I think it ended well for us both. Um, and yeah, I mean, the, the morning warm up made a couple changes and seemed to be positive. So hopefully for the race later, I can challenge Jake and PJ and JD Beach up at the front. What's it really gonna take to do it? Is it? I mean, Jake seemed like he put a burner down right away and kind of stretch the field out what's it going to take for you to run that pace the whole race and i mean you look good every time i see you on camera you look great in the rain oh uh, well i mean firstly thank you sir <laughs> um, yeah, i definitely felt a little bit sketchy yesterday i was moving around a lot had a few moments out of the seat and finally got uh, caught out but i think gagne gagne does yesterday put down a couple of heaters early on and then just kind of kept uh, the gap the same from there um, I think for the race later on, it might not even be, you know, wet for us. So, I mean, it lo looks, looks like it's drying, drying up and just kind of got to figure out what we're going to do. If we're going to try to run a, a dry setup with, with some wet tires or if we can even maybe throw some slicks in there. Yeah. But, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll figure things out, out later. And, you know, it's the final race of the 23 season. I'm going to go out there and throw everything at it but the kitchen sink, man. I love it. Have you ever ran like a wet front dry rear or vice versa? I mean, obviously no one ever runs a dry front wet rear, but have you ever done a mix? And would you like a, like a say, a, a mixed condition scenario? Uh, I mean, shit, the, the last time I did that was maybe on a 1-5 or something like that, you know. But, um, you know, I think that most of the riders would kind of say that they would either prefer to be wet or be dry. You know, I kind of went to half-half isn't favorable conditions for us you know out there racing um but like i said we've kind of kind of just got to wait and see what the, the weather's doing you know it takes the guys about an hour to kind of change out clutches springs software and stuff like that you know so we got to make up our our, our uh you know my minds um because last year we we got caught out you know i i just i just start the second race from the back of the grid um, but yeah, I mean, I'm really looking, lo looking forward to it and ho hopefully um, sending off 2023 proper. 
But yeah, I mean, also I was going to speak to you about how you're feeling about the bagger challenge later on, man. Yeah. Man, I'm ready for it. Like, we did well this morning. I'm feeling pretty good. And feeling frothy, rain or shine, I think we'll be all right. But, dude, good on you. Good luck for the race. They're telling me we got to keep moving. Good. I want to see you on the wall waving it. They're telling me I got to keep moving. Uh, no, it's okay. It's all right. Good luck, Dominic. We'll see you out there. See if I can't get over this with my little hanging pants. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's just rain, shine, Matthew's ready. It's going to be it's gonna be a difficult race for these guys. It's a long one. It's always difficult here. We're going to keep moving down here towards more people. All the people that showed up, all the fans, it's been really, really cool to see them show up. Everyone's got a poncho. Everyone's just kind of weathering the storm. It looks like this is going to be the best race day out of Saturday and Sunday. Uh, it looks like the weather's kind of moved. We look like we could have a nice little dry area where it's not going to be raining, but it always takes a long time to dry. And it's going to be, it just takes one little little dump of water and boom, we're back to racing in the wet. So I think it's going to put in on everybody a little bit of a watch or nerves. As you can tell, Matthew said, they need like an hour and a half to change their entire bike around. The bagger seems to be a little bit less, but we'll see. Let's just go into, uh, this is Saddleman, this is the fun, this is the, they call this the fun team. They're, they're the, the drinking team. That's what we call these guys. So we're going to, right? Racing and drinking team. All right, let's start off. We'll just kind of move through the, the line here. Big Frank, what's going on, big dog? He, Frank told me yesterday it was his first ever rain race. This guy's been around the game longer than anybody, and, uh, well, at least his resume says, and <laughs> it's his first ever rain race. So how was it, big dog? Oh, slippery. It was sketchy, but we made it to the end. After I lay later down in in a Q2, but we made it to the end. We're doing all right. Yeah, you, I didn't do as good as you. It's all right. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. You uh, you laid it down in. Uh, I heard on the siding lab. Yeah, yeah two corners <laughs> in. Two corners in. We we're on the ground. That's all it took. Did yeah. you pick it back up? Yeah, I'll finish the session out. All right, okay, let's go. Good. Let's go. All right, let me move into the big dog. C West, not racing. He's got a, I don't know, his golf hand or something's going on. But uh, what was it like being here? I know you said yesterday you didn't really think you wanted to race, but... It, it was perfect. I strategically broke my wrist so I didn't have to ride this weekend. <laughs> I knew it was going to rain, so I'm good. I'm good. What's it been like sitting from the sidelines? How have you been able to help the team, being able to like maybe watch in certain areas? Or, or have you just been like starting the drinking earlier? You know, Coach Corey, I get out there, I do a little watching, I tell them what I think, and they're all like, you know what, F you. And I'm like, all right, on to the beer, on to the beer. <laughs> this team's always probably the funnest team in the paddock. They always have a good time. Uh, well, hopefully you heal up and get back on a bagger. We're going to move on. Yeah, of course, because you need that golf game coming back. <laughs> that, they Hopefully they couldn't hear that through the mic. <laughs> Patricia, how was it yesterday? Uh, it seems like it's treacherous for everybody. It seems to be the same comments, but for you, how was it and how's the bagger been? I was just harnessing my inner dory. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. <laughs> I don't have as much experience as the other guys do. I'm sure, like you, the flat tracker guys love the wet a little more, but uh, I stayed in it, survived, kept gaining paces. Every time I saw someone crash, I was like, one more spot. <laughs> Finished P10, so points and money. I'm happy. That's what I like to hear. Any changes for today, and are you, are you hoping for a dry race? See, I like when it's either all dry or all wet. When I feel like it's going to stop raining and we're going to get those mixed conditions, dry line, that's when it starts getting real sketchy. So uh, just same tactic. Just keep swimming and finish the race. All right. Well, that's good. I love it. Good luck. Move into Jake the Snake, the big dog, Big Jake. Uh, Jake, put it. Uh, you put it second in the Super Sport race on qualifying. I didn't even see the Super Sport race yesterday. First, tell us how that was, and then I want to move into the baggers. Oh, yeah. Super sport race was not good. <laughs> Big Jake went to the back. Uh, I was I finished seventh. It was pretty uh, frustrating. Oh, no. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, it was a uh, – my, my face shield fogged up really bad and then just had a few other little problems and then got my doors blown off by the girl and uh, just kept going backwards. But Big Jake's back where he belongs this morning. I was third in the wet, and – it's going to be interesting, you know, it, it's stopped raining now, and we race here in like two hours, so it's going to probably be 
mixed conditions, which I like, and it's the last one of the year, so, you know, everyone's going to be going for it. I mean, you were telling me earlier that you rather, like, if there's this little skinny line, you'd love it. Uh, how was the bagger this morning? I know you made some radical changes. I I, heard, I was in your debrief somehow, and uh, you made some radical changes. You tried the old drag bike. How was it? Oh, the drag bikes. Uh, it, she'll be hooked up. I'm coming after Hawk Spoli today, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't come that far. I, I need to win this thing. And, uh, well, good luck to you guys. We're going to keep moving. Yeah. I already talked to the big man, Cody Wyman, so we're going to keep rolling. The big dog. We're going to roll over to the factory. I don't know. Mm, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. They always have a big line. It's it's tough one here. I mean, it, it's been wet, and it's, it's going to be tough. But look at this. See, you're not factory if you just don't have three umbrellas going all the time. The, we got the hunting jacket on just ready for it. We're going quail hunting. But let's roll in here. Kyle, not the best yesterday. Everybody kind of knows that already, but how was it this morning? Turn the new page. What's the game plan today besides trying to win it? <laughs> you pretty much summed <laughs> it up. Um, no, I mean, stay safe, right? I mean, it's uh, these conditions are brutal. You guys have got, you know, a battle on your hands. You know, I've, I've already lost what I had to lose, so it's, you know, it is what it is, but... You know, we've got another opportunity to, to get another win, another opportunity for, you know, a Harley-Davidson sweep, and uh, we'll be pushing for that, and I'll uh, try not to be a factor in you guys duking it out for the title. I don't know. I could probably use a factor at the moment. I need somebody in between, but uh, that's cool. No. Um, the track. Yeah. I mean, it's a tough one. Everybody says how tough it is, and, I mean, I know it's really, really slick and treacherous out there specifically on the patches and things of that nature. Turn 10 comes to mind for me. I've been asking everybody, are they patching or non-patching? What do you think? I mean, you don't have to tell me, but... Uh... No, I, I mean, I was patching up until this morning. I tried going around, and I don't know. It's kind of six and one half dozen in the other. Like, I'm not really sure which is quicker, but obviously it's a little bit less risk to go around the outside. So we might do that. I might try both. Hopefully we get a real start today where we can do a couple siding laps and um yeah it's just strange because it seems like the the track is like the same amount of wet but it feels different every time we're out there so it's it's a little bit of a a moving target so you know we'll just uh you know we've had we've had the pace in the wet so we just got to be patient and uh let it come cool well you heard kyle wyman's just gonna let it come uh as we move into travis wyman he got his first podium yesterday the big dog was chasing me down pretty hard. I saw every single Harley Davidson guy on the, on the wall going to the line there. But how was it yesterday? You obviously had some late race pace, which was really good. This morning, how was it? Like Kyle said, I kind of concur with him that every time I go out, it seems like it's changing like a dirt track out there, even though it seems the same. But how's it for you? No, it's it's just super inconsistent here. Like I was I was really consistent hitting my marks yesterday in the race, which is I felt comfortable doing, but like for example, there's a river coming across going into one and I was hitting the same spot every lap and for three laps it was good and then the fourth lap I completely folded the front, so it's just even when you're doing everything right, like things can happen and uh that's what makes this place challenging, but um I felt good uh, in the race yesterday, this morning in the warm-up, just went out and just kind of shook some things down, tried a different setting, so I think we'll be good for the race, and I'll see if I can help you out in the end. <laughs> well, always a good buddy. Thank you, Travis. We're going to keep moving. I'm going to try to find Kayla. She got on the podium, her first podium yesterday in the Super Sport. Uh, pretty crazy. 16-year-old, jumps on a Super Sport in her second race, does it in the wet, which in tricky conditions um you can see kayla she's pretty much a superstar around here she's got one of the biggest lines uh cory as well at this titler's team got his first super bike podium unfortunately pj had a penalty yesterday but we're going to go and talk to these guys uh we're going to jump in here kayla we're going to have to jump in good so yesterday you got to be stoked i mean you had a such a massive charge late race first podium second race and on a new bike i mean first how does it feel and how'd you get it done 
Yeah, it hasn't really set in yet. Um, you know, a super sport podium is, is kind of crazy. And, uh, you know, honestly, right now I'm just feeling it as a podium. And it's it's wild, the people I'm riding around and, uh, you know, being only my third race on the bike, I'm really happy to have been able to put it on the podium. Um, yeah, just was able to catch a little bit of uh, late late race pace at the end. And we'll see today, you know, obviously starting a little bit farther back than I wanted to. All weekend we had good pace, just qualifying was a little bit of a struggle. But, yeah, today we're going to try to go through the pack again and see what we can do. Now, does it feel weird, like, passing the caliber of riders that you're passing? Are you noticing that or are you just head down? I mean, it's got to be a little interesting. Like, you just going by them kind of like, they're tied to a post so it's it's got to be a little bit weird like hey is there something wrong or am I just that fast like I mean it's yeah it's, it's crazy you know I all year I've been looking up to these guys and you know we didn't really think we would be on a super sport bike at the end of the season and luckily we were able to get that opportunity and um yeah just you know passing people like Chavi and stuff like that it was it was just crazy to to see that and um you know everyone's riding really fast too so it you know yesterday was kind of a battle of, of staying up and finding that limit being smooth and consistent and uh, we were able to to show that off yesterday awesome well good luck today and congrats yesterday it's it's awesome we're gonna i'm gonna sneak behind you here i'm gonna get to the big dog here this guy's been around longer than anybody racing everything you could possibly imagine <laughs> 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 <laughs>